Here we are at part 30 of my video walkthrough for Final Fantasy 3! And uh, rather than show me walk all the way out of the Ancient's Labyrinth, I decided to just kind of skip any uh, monotonous backtracking as best I could. And um, after leaving there, I wanted to stop by Dorga's Village, which is kind of a little hidden village over here, so I thought I'd show you all how to get there. And inside Dorga's Village, what makes it really cool is they sell all of the spells from level 1 through 7. So this way I can set up my sages with uh, you know good spells to use throughout all the various levels. I'm skipping me just buying stuff, don't figure I need to show all that, but I do want to show off my final spell list that I decided to use. And there you go, you may have to pause the video if you really want to like look at it and write it down, but uh, after much thought I decided that this was a good way to go. There's uh, Ben, and uh, here's Zach's spell list. The only thing he's missing is um, I was going to get a Titan for a 5th level spell for him, because Titan's awesome. It's good for just taking out stuff. And we're going to skip ahead here. Um, this is the uh, Bahamut's Cave. I uh, decided to come in here because it's really easy to rest up, because you can just uh, go to the ship and heal. And there's usually large groups of enemies, ranging from 4 to 6, so uh, you can just like summon blast them real quick for gaining levels. I was having so much fun here that I actually gained too many levels, so uh, you don't need to get as high level as I was when I left here, but uh, I decided to show all my level up fights, like normal. Gonna kind of be doing a lot of hopping around in this video, but just trying to catch the highlights of a bunch of boring stuff and compress it down, so... It's not quite so boring, so we can get on with it and start climbing the Stilts Tower. Alright. Fight number two. I don't even remember what level levels I'm getting at these points, but I'm sure I'll check it out somewhere. What am I doing? Maybe I decided to play around with some extraneous spells since I was on a, a level up thing. So you can see warp go off. Ooh. <laughs> I always thought that was kind of cool. Exit works too. Dead. Sent to another plane. So it's kind of a waste to use exit and warp as instant death spells, but just in case you never saw them. There you go. They look kind of cool. All right, moving on. Yeah, there was a random battle I was trying to get in there somewhere, and I was showing uh, a Sage Use Quake. Maybe I threw it in on one of these level fights. Because I showed you the Black Mage using Quake, and that was like kind of awesome. Cool. But the Sage doesn't look quite as cool. Yeah, there we go. Ah! Oh! It looks like he just kind of lets out a big fart. I'm sorry, but that's what I think he looks like. Ah, uh, I'm bad. Anyway, leveling up fun. Isn't this fun? Oh boy, how many levels did I actually sit here and grind? Ooh, Zach's kind of getting the crap beat out of him. Ninjas are... ninjas are too much. For real. <laughs> they just do so much damage. I mean, they're in the back row. Of course he did get a critical hit, so... Oh no, don't kill Zach. That wouldn't be cool. Awesome! Got my cure four off. Really, basically, as far as that spell list goes, I think just the short version is you want to get all your spells, all your uh, curing spells, and your life spells. Bahamut for eighth level. Um, seventh level is kind of our back attack wipe group type spell chunk. So uh, I gave Zach Leviathan and gave Ben Quake. Because Leviathan will take out most groups, so... And Titan. Titan's really powerful. It's a it's a good summon, especially for a 5th level slot. Of course, you do have to sacrifice a Cure 3 for it, but... I don't really cast Cure 3 all that often. You want to split up your mini and your Toad, because they act as instant death. You get 50 charges at, like, the level I am. So, I mean, you can just instant death every single fight. Anything that's just, like, a normal just Toad it. Toad it or mini it, and it just dies, runs away, you win the fight, so I mean, 
That's your primary offensive ability as a sage, but it's just so good. It's hard to pass up, you know. Oh boy. Well, hopefully I'll end this sometime. I think I was just trying to play around with different spells, just so each level up wasn't exactly the same. Man, those ninjas are just hardcore, I have to let you know. <laughs> Go Ifrit! Yeah, Ifrit does like as much damage as a Fire 3 when you're targeting all enemies. Jeez, look at that. 2,000 all enemies is like a level 3 spell. Sages are... Sages, sages are pretty out there, too. <laughs> you know, the game... I don't know, it kind of gets easy at this point, because your guys are just so powerful that, like, none of the fights are really all that bad. The only thing that, like, might even mess you up... Um, as far as fighting anything, is uh, there's an enemy called a Kum Kum in the final area, and they cast instant death spells, so I mean, you get popped by one of those and you're gonna die. There's not a whole lot you can do about it. Titan just does more than Quake. But Quake's still good. I like it. I think it looks funny. <laughs> Alright, we're done with that. We're gonna go back to the base of the Stilks Tower. Start working our way through here. Told you I was going to pop around a lot, but I uh, didn't want to show too much redundant video. Ooh, a barrier. Probably not going to be using that anytime too soon. We've got a white scent. I'm not even sure what that does. <laughs> Choco Rage. Alright. No, I'm not going to be using that. Little kiss, wow, they're just giving me a bunch of trash, for real. But, oh well, gotta pick up all them treasure chests, right? And there we go. Let's uh, work our way out of here. Time for floor two. The door's locked. We gotta use our Stilks key in order to open the door and continue onward. Ooh, we got an elixir. At least that's pretty good, right? on through here, gathering treasures, having fun now. Phoenix Down, those are actually rare in this game, so that's kind of cool. It's a good thing for a final dungeon treasure to have. Although I want the armor. Of course, I already got all the weapons, so I'm not going to be getting any better weapons, but definitely some armor. Oh, Too bad those aren't Restore Springs. That would just be too cool. Traveling through this tower isn't too bad. They just kind of uh, arranged it so it would be take as long as possible to wander your way through here. Found another elixir. Now when we get to this floor, we're going to have to like head up and then work our way around and then go back down. So that we can get to the center of this floor and like head upward. Uh, like I said, they just tried to make it take as long as they possibly could to wander your way through here. But oh well. Ooh, an Eldest Staff. Now that's something worth keeping. Give one of those to Zack. This is one of those Super Staffs. Now that he's got, like, some... a decent set of spells, might come in handy there. Might as well split them up, give one to each Sage. Of course, if you only had one Sage, you could really max them out by having two of them. 